Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our best robot vacuum with obstacle avoidance competition video. A few years ago, robot vacuums started coming out with extra sensors to help them avoid household objects that their traditional sensors could not detect. This dramatically improved the robot vacuum experience because they were much less likely to get stuck on or run over objects like cords or toys or worst of all, pet waste. But these new obstacle avoidance systems were far from perfect, and even after almost five years of them being on the market, it still doesn't seem like the manufacturers have decided on the best way to arrange and configure these sensors, though some best practices are starting to emerge. At Vacuum Wars, we have a system to test obstacle avoidance on robot vacuums, but because robot vacuums have gotten so much better so quickly, I figured it was time to update that test and add a little more difficulty. For this video, I retested over 30 of the top robot vacuums with obstacle avoidance, and I will announce at the end our top 5 best obstacle avoidance robot vacuums based on these tests. So links in the description, and let's get started. In the beginning, robot vacuums didn't avoid obstacles. You just had to pick up any clutter off the floor before you ran it. And that's still the case with most cheaper robot vacuums today. You just need to sort of robot vacuum proof your house. All robot vacuums have what's called bump sensors, where if the robot runs into an object that is heavy and stable, it will trigger the bump sensor and the robot will move around whatever that is. But that's mostly for furniture. Especially the older ones used to have a lot of infrared sensors on the front as well, which didn't avoid obstacles exactly, but they did let the robot know when it was close to a wall so it could be more gentle. Then they started adding a spinning laser on the top called LiDAR, which really helps with navigation, but it was several inches off the ground, so any object lower than the LiDAR sensor and too light for the bump sensor was not able to be seen by the robot, and it was simply run over. The first robot vacuum obstacle avoidance system I tested was on the Echovax T8 AIVI in the year 2020, which had a camera on the front of the robot, which it used to recognize and avoid obstacles and it worked okay. But very quickly, it became clear that there were multiple ways to do obstacle avoidance, each option with varying degrees of success. So here's a quick breakdown of the various types of systems being used. Number one, cameras. Cameras are a super important part of this. Usually they're found on more expensive robot vacuums. Some, like the old Echovax T8, only had a camera on the front with no other sensors. But these days, many robots with cameras will add to that one or more of the following sensors. Number two, crossed infrared sensors, which I sometimes call crossed lasers, which have become extremely popular. These are focused beams of IR light that cross in front of the robot and trigger the robot to stop and avoid the obstacle in the light's path. This system is almost never used just by itself. It's usually combined with a camera or one of the other systems. Another very popular type is 3D structured light, which works by projecting a light pattern onto the environment and analyzing the light distortion. Structured light can be paired with a camera and crossed lasers, like on the flagship Roborock, the S8 Max-V, or 3D structured light can be used with just crossed lasers and no camera, like on the Shark Power Detect or Echovax T30S. In fact, this configuration is becoming very popular for mid-level robot vacuums trying to cut down on costs. You can also use structured light all by itself, with no crossed lasers and no camera, which is typically found on lower-end robots. Then we have time of flight sensors. Time of flight technology works by emitting light pulses from the robot vacuum. The time it takes these pulses to reflect back allows the robot to gauge the depth, height, and size of surrounding objects. Time of flight sensors are more rare. The flagship Eufy S1 uses it, along with a camera and infrared sensors. It's also used on the Eufy X9, and Roborock has a version of it called Starsight. Finally, we have some unique options. Samsung is doing its own thing with their new flagship, which uses two cameras and what they call 3D active stereo. And on the lower end, you have the Narwhal Free OX, which uses the so-called tri-laser system, which seems to be three infrared beams only. So which one of these is the best? 
Previously, we've been testing Robot Vacuum's obstacle avoidance with four runs on a pre-mapped room where each run had a category of light and low objects that were chosen to test obstacle avoidance systems. The highest possible score on that test was 12, but the average score was 9, though I was starting to see more perfect scores recently as systems got better, which is why I created this additional torture test, which uses the exact same objects, but all the objects are used at the same time. Time, creating a much more chaotic environment. This new test not only challenges their sensors to recognize the objects, but it also tests their navigation algorithm and computer processor, because they need to think hard to avoid all the objects. I took the scores from the original test and the new torture test to get my picks for the best obstacle avoidance systems. But before I show the winners, let me talk about the losers, because there is a story there. Of the six worst scores, five of them were structured light-only systems without crossed lasers or a camera. Most of these are lower-end Roborocks like the Q-Rebo S, which is an amazing robot other than its poor obstacle avoidance. So one thing I've learned from doing this test is that structured light without a camera or lasers is a bad choice if obstacle avoidance is important to you. Moving on to the top five, and if you want to see the full top 10 list, check out the link in the description to the website page where I will keep that list updated as I test new robots. So here is the top five, and technically it was a three-way tie for first place with the Eufy S1, the Dreamy X40, and Eufy X9 Pro. Two of those, the Eufy's, used time-of-flight sensors, so that was interesting. But the Dream X40 and X30, which was also in the top five, use a camera, structured light, and crossed laser system. Where the Samsung, as I said, was doing its own thing with binocular cameras and 3D active stereo. So I'm not sure if there is a consensus on the best type of obstacle avoidance sensors yet, but I do think we're getting closer to that every day. Links in the description to the full top 10 best obstacle avoidance robot vacuums list and be sure to check out our top 20 overall best robot vacuum list while you're there because these new obstacle avoidance results have changed the overall rankings. Thanks for watching. All of the links in the description are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. You'll also find links to the Vacuum Wars website in the description where we have more detailed lists of our favorite products like our new top 20 robot vacuums list which is updated weekly.